Keep the attributes of every character's Hyper Beast forms from extreme, but don't let them go hyper more than once if their beast gauge is not full. This will be a mechanic from Bloody Roar 3. Once you go hyper if your beast gauge isn't full, you sacrifice health just like in extreme, except this time you cannot go hyper again, but you can still go beast. This is for every round, meaning that if you go hyper prematurely in round 1, you can't go hyper in round 2 or 3, etc. You can only use Hyper Beast more than once if you continue to do it if the beast gauge is full, so then you do not sacrifice any health. This will create an emphasis on managing meter a lot better to play the best version of your character. When you revert back to human form out of beast or hyper, every time you mash the beast button, the speed is decreased at which it fills by half each time the button's mashed, so you can't just whiff or even kill someone to go back into beast form. So you'll have no choice but to fight or defend to get your meter back. I'm sure by now the renderware engine is obsolete, so please refrain from creating another disaster like Bloody Roar 4. I don't know why Hudson and Aiding decided to ditch the original Bloody Roar engine, but please go back to it and refine or remake it, because renderware is definitely one of the reasons, if not the main reason, why Bloody Roar 4 was such a disaster and flop in terms of gameplay, aside from other issues that game has. Keep the evading system from Extreme and bring back guard escaping from Bloody Wars 1 and 2. Keep jump cancelling and air cancelling from Bloody Roars 3 and Extreme. Give the player an option to turn off the hit counter, because it can be distracting or misleading. In Bloody Roar Extreme, for example, when player 2 does a simple 3 hit or more combo, the color of the UI is blue, which gives people the impression that it's not a true combo when it actually is. Either make the counter the same color as player 1's, or just give it an option to turn it off or on during a session for both online and offline. These true Bloody Roar character combo videos you see on YouTube, 9 times out of 10 aren't actual true combos since the AI is getting hit by strings, the AI is an error covering in place to the right or left, forward or back, or they're not quick recovering. And I am guilty of some setups I thought were real but actually aren't, specifically in my Jojo X Bloody Roar Uriko combo videos and my Fang video, which is why I edited the titles of those videos from true combos to just combo slash options since it could be confusing or straight up misleading and I hate that. Bloody Roar in itself is a pretty overwhelming game when you get deep into it since you're basically managing three characters in one, human, beast, and hyper. And to be honest, some people don't even care about true combos. As long as you know how to play your character and you have good neutral, that is what should be more important. For replay value, bring back all of the extras content from Bloody Roar Extreme, and bring back any cancel points specifically from Bloody Roar 2 as an extras option, and make a versus CPU mode. Stage transitions from EX and 4 would be nice to see return, but don't overdo the transitions, otherwise it kills the pacing of the fight since Bloody Roar is a fast 3D fighter. Personally, I'd like to see 5 costumes if not 10 for each character. If you're going to bring back Fang as a guest character, make him have his own character slot. I know why he's over Yugo, being his manga counterpart and all, it's understandable, but it's also not fair to those that want to play the same character. Give him his coat, or give him Yugo's Bloody Roar 1 outfit since his moveset is just Yugo from Bloody Roar 1. I won't say much on the story, but all I have to say is that soft rebooting the narrative to continue after the world of coexistence was established in Gato's ending in Bloody Roar 2, or following up after Primal Fury slash Extreme will be the safest thing to do. Either retcon slash erase Bloody Roar 4, which would save a lot of time, by the way, or reintroduce Nagi, Reiji, and Ryoho. We do not need mana or a dragon, period.